The person sitting next to me at the bar okay. looks to be an elf. Hmm. I just had a run in with some mummies last night, and uh, I'm not feeling too well. So I heard. Uh, you know anyone who might be able to help heal me with that? Make a charisma check. See how amicable you can make this guy. I swear to God, if another person throws a drink, there's going to be some dead horses outside. And if we're going to go out, ah! it's about killing everyone. <laughs> I know, right? And I actually have a positive bonus to charisma, too. Yeah. <laughs> Six is not the best of roles. I'm just saying, um, as we're in here, uh, do we see any other doors? There's a door to the back right here. But when we looked, was there a door out of the place when we did a little scout out? This is the only door there's, in and out. Yeah, there's just one door. Okay. So when we burn this motherfucker down and we, we <laughs> barricade this door, then we'll be okay, right? Maybe. I'm just making... I don't know. There are adventurers in here with perhaps powerful spells. <laughs> or perhaps not. Or perhaps is... not. Perhaps you'll be totally and completely fine. <laughs> this doesn't seem like the kind of place where you want to make enemies. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little late for that. The elf and says, yet, we don't appear to be able to make friends, to be honest. Yeah, right. <laughs> the elf turns to you and says, um, I think you should ask around. There might be someone here that can help. Okay. Thank you. I feel like I'm in an MMO and I'm, we're asking the wrong person. Yeah. You ask around. Hey, if we're in WoW, I'm just saying we're orcs in Stormwind is what we are. <laughs> the barmaid will bump past you, glob trop, um, and she'll be like... James, I don't know what you're doing, but... She'll be like, really oh, I'm sorry, things. sweetie, I didn't see you down there, and she'll keep moving on. I am sorry, uh, miss, I am so very sorry. It's, it is an, you, does miss know anyone that can help It is an her? orcish woman barmaid. Hmm. Sexy. Interesting. <laughs> I say, excuse me. He, yes. Do you know anyone that could help my master? Mm, what's wrong with your master? She had a run in with some very, very, very bad mummies last night, I'm told. Oh. So she needs some healing, I, I assume. Mm hmm. Would you make a charisma check? Wipe the nail off my face. She's going to splash more on it. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. Charisma check or persuasion check? It's a uh, persuasion check, but you might get a bonus. Um, let me check the Orcs of Thar book. Here it is. Okay. Racial tolerance table. You're a goblin. You're going to an orc. Oh, they don't like you that much. It's a minus two to your roll. <laughs> Fantastic. I'm super it's, glad you checked um, that out. Probably better than elves, though. Okay. Oh, boy. All right. Let's do it. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy. 23. That's really good. She points back in the corner. Honey, there's a druid back there. Maybe uh, maybe she can help you. Oh, thank you so much. And I go and get my master. <laughs> also, I tip her. I tip her quite a bit. My master thanks you. Oh, good. That uh, was nice. She'll like you. that. Oh, you're just yeah. a sweetheart. So, I've been told um, my wife some more ale off my face. Back here? Now behave in here, okay? Yeah, Holy back there. You're standing on the table. <laughs> well, whatever. There you go. No. It doesn't let me... <laughs> there. Don't judge. I can't exactly stand between the tables. There. Boom. See, now you're facing it. You can turn yourself with this little handle. Uh-huh. So we approach the druid. The druid has teeth <coughs> coming down around her neck. She has uh, 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 antlers. 
that come off of her head. They're kind of like, they kind of move in like this and spread out that way. Cool. She's really cool looking. She wears leathers. She looks like Hella. She is. I do like chicks in leather. Just saying. <laughs> she is with another elf who is, who is kind of half naked wearing a loincloth and has a big old freaking club. And with a, another, uh, with another elf who is wearing a red mask that is painted all spooky and weird and has red flaming hair and knives all over a bandolier of like knives. <laughs> cool. This is so Thor, the god of her. thunder and lightning. <laughs> Aww. Aww. <laughs> We're the only ones without pets. Oh, you should get a cat. You want one? <laughs> I'll mail you a cat. Please. They look at you and your goblin assistant and say, uh, the the guy with the, the knives kind of leans back and says, can can we help you? I Do you, say, want, you want to feel this or you want me to? Excuse me. Uh, I don't mean to be a bother, but I heard that perhaps you might be able to help me with a, a slight problem I have. Hmm. I can help you with a slight problem. <laughs> that's that's funny. That's very nice. That's uh, interesting. <laughs> well, um, <laughs> my camp was attacked by mummies last night, and I am afraid that I have contracted mummy rot. Um... His eyes get wide, and he kind of moves back towards the other, <laughs> the other person and, uh, that 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 that's, has a giant club, and he just kind of pushes the guy back, and he can't stay. He's just like, oh, uh, hey, don't, <laughs> don't push me. I don't. And he's like, don't get so close to me. I don't like it when you get close to me. Don't get so, <laughs> don't get so close to me. Don't get so. <laughs> So he jumps off of the bench and then moves around the table, gets over here. And it's like, <laughs> it's like, where are, where are, take care of that. Get it out of here. Take, get it, get it, get it gone. I can't, I don't <laughs> like disease. <laughs> it makes me dead. <laughs> Just get it out of here. The woman That's... with the, the antlers kind of turns to you and says, uh, that's interesting that you ran into mummies. Where did this happen? Mm. Somewhere near the mummy tombs. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was late at night. I was, I was out in a wooded area and found what looked like it may have been a, an old house perhaps you spent the night at the never run temple didn't you no mm -hmm. did you Did not you know that place is haunted not now um, <laughs> you're lucky I'm, to survive I'm not from the area <laughs> you're lucky to survive at all well what happened Tell me the story. Mm. I, I was... Regale, How many the were there? Was there anything else? Did, what, what, what did you find? Um, there were three mummies and a, a spirit. A ghost. Hmm. Interesting. I, I have seen... I managed to escape. I have seen this ghost before. I did not know that there were mummies that that the old priests were mummified. That is new information. You did you destroy the mummies or did you flee? We d we managed to destroy the mummies just barely. And the ghosts? The ghost Ghosts as well. Well then, I owe you a slight debt um, for cleansing the area. Roll a charisma check to see how much indebted she feels to you. 
I was going to tell a really good oh story. Oh my god! <laughs> use, a, use, use an inspiration. Is it was it terrible? Would you like to use your inspiration? You rolled a one. Yeah. Inspiration. There you go. Thirteen. That's not bad. She says, um, I must commune with nature and then we will cure you of whatever they have done to you. I believe that you might have contracted mummy rock, but I'll have to make a, a thorough examination. Yeah, that's what I say to all the ladies. <laughs> Thank you. I would like a small fee for any reagents that I have to use. Of course. We, we would will... have to go back to our camp master to get the money if they would like to follow us. 20 it's gold? Far. No, you mm. will come to me. Oh, of course. We of course. need our specific wooden glade that is holy with the spirits of the wood. Clubtrap is ignorant of such powerful magics. Yeah. <laughs>